What's up my Planet Coaster friends? It is Wix here and today we're gonna look at a coaster spotlight made by Butterclass. So stay tuned, let's check it out. Alright guys, this was sent in by Butterclass, one of our Discord Master Builders member. And uh, he are saying that... Hey, Johnny. Ah, surprise, surprise. Uh, recently, I checked out my oldest creation and when riding this coaster, I thought that it aged quite well. So I decided to submit it for a coaster spotlight. I built this in spring of 2017 when the piece limit for blueprint just had been increased to 4,000 and the star panels were new. There isn't much to say about the coaster itself. Just go ahead and explore. The coaster is also available as a two-part blueprint. Part one is a fully functional on its own and a part two adds all the finer details like the outlines of the continents, the sign and the exterior lighting. I submitted the pre-setup park version to save you some time. Have fun. And I will indeed, Baracles. Don't hope I am butchering your name here. But uh, let's look at this coaster and wow, that is some serious, serious impressive work here. Holy Moses. I really like to see these kind of creations. They are so unique. It's, it's really amazing what people can create in this game. Uh, it opened up in um, night time, so I guess this is the shot he wants the park to open in. And uh, let's check it out, guys. And also, first of all, this is my first spotlight, guys, so uh, bear over with me. Uh, I will try to get all of it uh, with me here as much as I can. And look, but um, let's not look inside of the, the globe, because let's save the surprises for... When we are riding it but let's check it out in daytime a little bit here um this is really really impressive and i really like that he already made it all up for us so we don't have to to put the the path thing and all that and it's very clever that he even made it a two-part blueprint so if people want this in their own park they can literally just download the two parts and uh and get them in their own parks. It's very neat. Um, the coast, the scenery around it doesn't have so much uh, since um, I thought now it's a park coaster. I might have used a little bit more stuff around here to just to fill the void, I guess. But that's just me. Um, coaster itself looked pretty epic, and it's a dive coaster which I really like. Uh, written a few myself. So, uh, looking forward to this one, so uh, let's try this. I'm thinking that we should ride it in uh, bumper mode first. So we kind of get the... Let me pause this for a sec. So we can... Oh, spoiler. So we kind of get the whole layout of the coaster on first. Um... And then afterwards, we might do it in uh, in seed view. It's just, I'm assuming the hands is going to annoy us here. Uh, let me fast forward here a bit. It was broken or... Uh, just fixed it. Alright. Let's try this out. Here we go. Think about we take it at daytime first and go directly to nighttime afterwards. I thought I was fast forwarding, it's just a fast lift. <laughs> Alright, let's see this. Oh, I love this with dive coasters where you just hang and wait for the fall. Oh, and here we go. This is neat. Yeah, and it, he said it was where the star panels. Uh, oh, got an auto save there. Ah. 
Yeah, the star panels are really useful in this game for sure. Oh, we have one more hanging time. Some lava, it's a fire pit. Very cool. I really like that. Let's take it in the uh, in seed view now. Uh, let's fast forward a little bit. <clears throat> this is very neat coaster. I like it. It, it feels it feels smooth, and some of the transitions from uh, straight from the straight line to the inversions feels pretty smooth. I like that. Here we go. Oh, my bad. Let's try to take it in seed view now. Let's hope we don't get too many hands in the air uh, from the guests. Because it is kind of annoying when they do that. Alright, let's check this out. Here we go. It's quite cool how he managed to put all this coaster layout inside this globe here. And actually make it run proper smooth. That's quite impressive. And here's the second drop to the fire pit. Yeah, this is really cool, man. You did a good job here, Bataclass. It's a nice centerpiece, too. Um, I'm, I'm not quite sure, though, theming-wise, how I would incorporate it into some of my uh, in some of my parks. Uh, but I guess a good centerpiece is, is mainly what this is, um, if I have to say it myself. In my opinion, I would um, I would have uh, I would struggle a little bit to fit it in one of my parks and kind of which theme it would fit for but i guess it's generic it's sci-fi it could it could work places i guess and it, it just is a nice centerpiece for that matter so uh, but um let's ride it at night time guys you probably have some effects or something maybe some triggers or something like that let's take this guy let's take bomber car again or from the bomber perspective first And we fast forward here a little bit again. Here we go. I do like the fast pace though on the lift as well. Oh. It feels so fast. I thought it was fast forward again. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I see there are some triggered lights on the track while we are running over it. Might have to see that in another view in a sec. Here we go. I mean, compared to this is made last year, it's very impressive, I must say. Couldn't imagine if he had all the pieces we have now, what he would be able to add in in this little dome here. Because since it is a park file, he could probably have added tons more stuff to it. But I guess he wanted it to have... Uh, to be a, par a two two part blueprint, uh, which makes sense too, because it is a freaking amazing uh, creation, I must say. Very impressive. Really like this last part before the station here. It's quite neat. All right, that was front bumper. Let's uh, let's take a seat view again. There wasn't a lot of hands actually. Uh, which is nice. Uh, just gonna fast forward here again. Till we ride it. Here we go. And I totally forgot now that I forgot to put music on. But I don't care. We I talk over it anyways. So, uh, so yeah. If you guys don't like that, you can write in the comments. If you rather just want a silent POV, then I will be silent in further 
spotlights. Mm. So yeah. You can see the lighting on the tracks kind of switches. Yeah, this is super cool. Go, uh, go give this guy a rating, guys, on the workshop, and tell what you think about his creation. Because uh, what I saw that it it only had it didn't even had 100 subscribers or something. So give this guy some credit. Yeah, this is very very impressive work. But hey, you ain't a master builder for nothing, right? So yeah, this is, this is awesome stuff. And I always love me a good, good dive coaster. All right, let's. I want to see some of these trick of lights on the outside here. Oh, so it's actually just uh, a light sequence of lights just going off all the time. Oh, it's only when it writes on it. I see. That's pretty cool. Let's fast forward here for a sec. Yeah, yeah. So the light switches as soon as it touches it. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I think that's it, guys. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Or let Bataclas uh, hear what you guys think of his awesome creation here. And remember to check it out on the, the workshop itself. The links and all that stuff will be in the description below. So yeah, guys. Remember to join the Discord if uh, you want to... Share your creations with a bunch of all Planet Coaster people and just have an awesome time in this great community. So, um, yeah, guys, appreciate you for watching and uh, have an awesome day. And I will see you in the next video. Or it will be Johnny. It will most probably be Johnny, but what the hell. Okay, I'll, I'll see you around, guys. Bye.